Cheers. Cheers. It is breakfast time. Breakfast. <laughs> Let's do this. Today, we are headed to Ale and Compass. For breakfast. For breakfast. With the kids. I am so excited for this. This is such, well one, I just, I'm a really, I'm kind of a sucker for breakfast anyway, but this menu looks incredible. Yeah, so Ale and Compass, I specifically really wanted to do this one for breakfast because they have a notoriously really good breakfast. They've got some different types of things on their menu and they also have this little buffet. Um, so we've eaten breakfast here once before, but they hadn't brought the buffet part of it back yet. So I'm interested to see how that works. Mm -hmm. um, is that a standalone thing or is it just come with it, breakfast? It's separate. It's it's $23 for the breakfast buffet. Okay, so it's an either or thing. All right, so, so I'm definitely gonna get um, a, some pictures or something of it and we'll see if anybody wants to eat. It. I'm not even yeah. sure what's on it. Yeah, but the regular menu, you have everything from country ham and cheddar omelet to a dark chocolate waffle to a mm. crab cake benedict to mm. salted caramel apple French toast. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be good. Ale and Compass over at the Yacht Club. Very, very um, intriguing breakfast menu. And I think the kids are really gonna like it. So, I think so. we're gonna go to take the kids. And then we actually got a lightning lane um, a virtual, uh, virtual queue. queue for Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. We did not buy a lightning lane. We got it, the virtual queue for, for Guardians of the Galaxy, which is um, happening like now, like as we're headed to breakfast. So we are going to take our receipt and see if they will let us in after that. Yeah. And so we'll, we'll report see. back on that as well so that you'll know. Yeah. All right, so are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it, I'm so hungry. Let's go. So we are not getting anything um, alcoholic for breakfast, but they do have a special French crust coffee. Yeah, we're gonna um, try that out. So. I do love French crust, and it's been a while. I know, so hopefully it's done well. It's $9 for two people. We will see how that goes. Kids are getting, Jennings is getting an apple juice, and Aiden is just getting a water. You're not doing the tea. <laughs> Just, so just water. we were a little mistaken, like the buffet, it's $23, but the buffet also includes um, a beverage, not the French press, just regular coffee, tea, juice, soft drinks, but it also includes an entree yeah. for $23. That's a lot of food because on the buffet, there's um, cheddar biscuits and gravy, warm cinnamon rolls, yogurt, pastries, granola. Yeah, it's not something I would want to do just as my meal, but for sure it's a great accompaniment. I think $23 for an entree, including the buffet, is probably a pretty good deal. I think that's what we're gonna do. It's good. It's up. Interesting. It's very, very smooth. Very mild, yeah. I got the buffet along with my meal, and they've got fruit up there, yogurt, uh, cheddar biscuits and gravy with a bunch of different pastries, cinnamon roll, um, some assorted muffins and banana bread, so. How are the biscuits and gravy? That's like one of my favorite uh, breakfast foods ever. Not like blow your mind? No. Okay. It's definitely not something I would come here just to get. It's just sitting up there, it's not super hot. Yeah, the cinnamon roll is kind of dry. I thought that the cinnamon roll was a little dry. It, uh, it was pretty good, but not my favorite. But for entrees, she suggested the blueberry and bacon pancakes, which sound amazing. She like didn't even hesitate. It was, yeah, I mean, it was like hands down blueberry it was and like, bacon pancakes. That was definitely what you have to get. She said that there's like a citrus butter on top of them, which complements the blueberry and bacon really well. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I kind of veered off of, I thought I was gonna get the salted caramel <laughs> apple French toast because that sounded amazing, but she went with her adamance on how good it was, I had to get that. She said for a savory option to get the breakfast flatbread, which I always like pizza. Yeah. Um, but she said it was a, a really nice crust. Um, and just a good savory option. So we got one of each. We're gonna try. Yep. This um, flatbread looks incredible. So good. 
yum oh I cannot wait to try that um, I'm super excited about I want to try that I know you got the blueberry and bacon pancakes too right it's good the dough is good I expected it to be a little bit um stiffer like crispier yeah I think maybe with the prosciutto it might be saltier but mm. it was not salty enough oh well, that bite was was deep. it salty mm -hmm. mm. Better? yeah that helps yeah that is super good. It's like the mixture of the flavors of like the citrus butter with the blueberry, with the bacon that's incorporated in the dough um, or in the batter. Like, uh, I really enjoy those. I'm just watching our son um, <laughs> like decorate his waffles over there. Lick the chocolate off of his fingers as he goes. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> but I do like the flavors of the citrus butter, bacon, and blueberries. I think of the two, that's probably my favorite. It is much sweeter than the. Um, very savory uh, flatbread here. Yeah. Very good though. Yeah. Very good flavors. Yes. It's unique. It's not the same Disney stuff that you would get everywhere. Yeah, exactly. How was it? Good decision? Yeah. It's amazing. We are done overall. Great dining experience. I think they are trying to kick everybody out because it is 11.40 and breakfast is officially <laughs> over. They ended the buffet about 10 minutes ago. What did you think? Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Um, it's It had some unique options. Um, I wouldn't say, it's kind of like one of those experiences where I'm not sure I would go out of my way to come here for breakfast, but it was good. And if I was staying in the area or maybe I was in Epcot and for whatever reason didn't like any of the options in there, and popped out for a minute, then then it would be a good place to go. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, do a little touring in Epcot and then we'll finish this up at home. Yes. I'm not full. Oh, well, <laughs> that's because we've been walking around Epcot and we rode Guardians of the Galaxy and we got rained on. Hence my hair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so Guardians, before we get to the dining review, Guardians was great. Our uh, lightning, not lightning, like, why do I keep saying lightning? Like, I don't the know. virtual queue that we got this morning was boarding group 20. Yep. Um, and so it, they called it before we ever left the house, but yep. we showed up like three hours, two and a half hours, three hours late, whatever. Um, and they let us right on. Let's talk about Alien Compass, shall we? Yes. Yeah. So, Wait. okay. But first, <laughs> if you would like help planning your next magical vacation, we would love to help. Yes, absolutely. You can reach out to us at fantasticalvacations.com. We have lots of amazing uh, travel advisors over there that you can pick one or you can just fill out the court request and we'll connect you with somebody. Yeah, and please check us out on our podcast, Addicted to the Mouse. Every Sunday and Wednesday nights, we release new episodes. Mm -hmm. And so, for instance, today, um, we did an on-the-go episode. So that's going to be half of this next episode that's getting released um, for Epcot. And then tomorrow, we are going to Universal and we're gonna do the other half there. And so that'll be a fun little episode. Alien Compass, uh, ambiance and theming. You know, the theme Theming of Yacht Club is, um, it's like fine. A, like a boat club. Yeah, it's like a boat yacht club, club, right? So, I mean, there's like there's like a picture on the wall right outside of Ale and Compass that's like different knots and um, stuff like that. So, I mean, it's very, it's like clean lines. Um, the restaurant's very nice, but nothing like real themey in there, I don't feel. Um, For what it is, it yeah. is a hotel lobby service restaurant nothing over the top i would say it's just below average we give it a two and a half yeah. and i think that's fair it was pretty loud in there whenever we first got there and then as people kind of left it it quieted down but yeah i think two and a half is fair service um so they did have a few service issues and i don't know if that's maybe because they were winding down breakfast our reservation was at 10 30 and we were a little bit late to that um so they were winding breakfast down and as we sat there and ate uh, everybody around us like filtered out so they could um I guess, turn everything over and clean and all of that stuff. So like they brought, so we got to be two. fair, most of the issues we had were the, was with the um, food runners. That's not true. Well. I had an orange juice that she never brought. So true. I had to ask for it again. Um, the, yeah, but the food runners, they brought, we had two plates of pancakes and one plate of waffles and they didn't bring any syrup. When she brought the first plate of food, Aiden had gotten the buffet and had a dirty plate. So he like moved his dirty plate out of the way and she, she left and he was holding his dirty plate. It's true. <laughs> Which I thought, well, that's weird. Like she should have taken that. So, but, so but yeah, there wasn't room to set the plate down. Yeah. Um, so those, it was just some like, just mild, nothing like, like that was wasn't super horrible, frustrating or anything. But it was it just definitely kinda... wasn't over the top and it was just below what I would consider average for Disney. Yeah, yeah. So we gave that a two and a half as well. 
Yeah, now the beverages, we did not get adult beverages. We just got a fridge press coffee. It was $9 for two people. So it was a full carafe, um, mm -hmm. saw it on the video and it was very good coffee. It was very smooth. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like a mellow coffee. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I did too. And then Aiden actually got a tea um, mm -hmm. and his came in like a little teapot. Um, I think he got close to like a cup and a half to two cups out of that little teapot. Um, and it was very good. He did have several, um, hello, Dexter. <laughs> hey buddy, I know it's thundering. So he's a little nervous. <laughs> So they did have several specialty cocktails as part of the breakfast menu. There was a, um, a Bloody Mary on there that I took note of, but we did not partake in those. So for what we got, um, Jennings got an apple juice, I got an orange juice. Those were just Minute Maid juices, but the fridge press was pretty good. Yeah. Um, it was definitely above average, I think. So yeah. we gave this a four. Yeah, last but not <sighs> least is the food. So, I mean, that's what you watch these dining reviews for, right? Um, those blueberry bacon pancakes were phenomenal. They were very, very good. Yeah. Um, so was the flatbread. The flatbread was very, very good. It didn't look like a giant serving when they brought it out, but it was very filling. Um, and Jennings devoured his, <laughs> he did. his, his waffles. Uh, dark chocolate waffle, yeah. Um, and that was interesting. He was a little nervous about it because like the mascarpone cream that came on it was like an espresso mascarpone. Um, and there was like a dried cherry compote. All of those things, he was like, what are these? Um, and she suggested to get all of that on the side and then that way he could put whatever he wanted on top of it which worked out perfectly so then he didn't have to have all the stuff that maybe was questionable for his liking you know on it already we probably would have rated this a half star higher had the buffet been a good buffet yeah and, um, and i don't know if it's the time that we went because it was a later breakfast but Still, they no, no, because those were no. two new pans of okay. cheddar biscuits and the cinnamon rolls. In fact, the guy ahead of me took the first cinnamon roll out of that first pan, and they were still dry and not that good. Uh, the cheddar biscuits mm -hmm. was probably the best thing up there, um, and they weren't they weren't hot, yeah. which is weird. It was a full pan of brand new cheddar biscuits, and then the gravy had a lid on it, like it. It, it just, it wasn't hot. Like yeah. you gotta, you gotta serve food hot and it just yeah. wasn't. So that was unfortunate. So I think the meals, the entrees um, were, were well above average. And yeah. then the buffet brought that back down. That experience was less than desirable. So. Yeah. Yeah. So overall we decided that it was probably about a four um, for the food as well. Cause it was the food, the entrees that we got were very well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All of that added together, um, divided by four, that leaves 3.25 stars, three and a quarter stars out of five. And I think that's about right. Yeah, I did um, The service ambiance, that stuff was a little bit not quite there, but the food and the beverages were good options. I would definitely go back for breakfast again. I thought it was tasty. Yeah. Um, had they elevated their, um, their service and I don't know if there's anything they could do to the restaurant. It just is what it is. Yeah. It's a hotel, it's a hotel restaurant yeah. that's not themed. It's very similar feeling to me um, that I had whenever we ate at Sebastian's Bistro in that um, I absolutely 100% would eat there if I was staying in the area. I'm not sure that I would, you know, go out of my way to eat here if I wasn't staying there. Yeah, um, and this is also one of those, this is a good uh, restaurant that is in that area that you can usually get reservations for fairly easily. So this is like a fallback second choice, or maybe um, you are like tired on your vacation and you don't want to go away to breakfast, you just wanna stay close by, this is a good choice for that as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. So um, if you are enjoying these dining reviews, we love hearing um, the comments that you guys leave for us and let us know what you think as well. So definitely keep con continuing to do that. And then um, please like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. All right, we will see you on the next video. What do you think, kitten? Did you like breakfast? Did you like breakfast?